Yeah, what do you do around here? Sometimes he works the candy counter, yeah, and does that. Sometimes he sits in the ticket booth and helps out too, so. And sometimes if I twist your arm real hard, you'll sweep the floor. <laughs> I think we've, we've put a lot of heart and soul into this, uh, my wife and I and the kids. Uh, we cleaned it up nice, we painted it, you know, the marquee was redone. Um, we've trucked along, we've put a, a lot into it, and that's kind of what we wanted to do, is to make the environment more movie friendly, clean, uh, so patrons would come and return. That's why we do it. We've been doing it for a good year, year and a half, um, and uh, things are going. It's been tough to live week to week almost and, and not know what you're going to get or, or how you're going to approach things. <laughs> In October, November of 2012, we really realized that uh, things were getting tight as far as the uh, 35 millimeter uh, production goes. Um, we were uh, getting pushed back on some films. We knew something had to happen think like everybody in a business that, you know, you, you have uh, a short timeline to do something, you scratch your head and you say, you know, maybe it's time to be done. Um, I suppose back in November, uh, my wife and I had ideas of just shutting down because, you know, with the huge capital investment in the digital projector, it, it ended up we were getting quotes around sixty-five, seventy thousand dollars $70,000, which you know, a small town theater uh, in Wheaton uh, doesn't generate that much cash flow to even raise that. And we've only been in the business for a year. So we did put a sign in the, in the theater for, for sale. Um, by then, a few weeks later, there was hubbub and, and word generating uh, interest in, you know, what if, what if the community raised the funds? A committee was formed called Save the Gopher Theater Committee. And it was a positive response. We had, I want to say, at least $40,000 in donations before the end of the year. So we know uh, what it's like for small communities and for the limited resources they have, the limited uh, pool of individuals that they have to step up and get projects going or to keep things alive in a small community, which is great because in Wheaton, there really isn't a whole lot to do uh, as far as entertainment goes. But we were just so humbled that the community uh, stepped up and were behind us as far as keeping the theater open. I guess now when the film comes in, it comes in in a handy dandy little box like this versus uh, a huge case of about 50 pounds. Now it's about eight pounds. Well, as a theater, of course, um, you have the clean, crisp picture. Um, none of the 
you know, the, the reels with the scratches in it and the flutters and, and those sorts of things. And, and uh, you know, patrons have commented on that along with the sound system uh, as well. So we, we installed two other side speakers. We got a subwoofer, which we didn't have before for bass. Uh, so it definitely created a better uh, movie going experience for, for the citizens here in Wheaton. Yeah, so please drop by when, if you're ever around Wheaton and visit us at the Gophers Theater for uh, evening show at 7 p.m. or a Sunday matinee. Thanks a lot.